I am Jax the Barber. My government name is Jerron Jackson, but everybody knows me as Jax or Jackson. Uh, I am a father, a mason, a role model, community activist, somewhat. <laughs> but most importantly, I'm an entrepreneur. A coach? You left coach out? Oh, yeah, I left out coach. <laughs> <laughs> and mogul. You, you yes, business. Sir, yes, man, sir. I see you, man. I'm becoming mogul, mogul. Just trying to make it happen. Trying to, you know, take different resources and put them together and just build on a brand. Yeah. Man, I see how you... I really... Man, I, I salute you because through this pandemic, the way you just adjusted to the whole, you know what I mean? You adapted. Right. Like, you was like, all right, they trying to shut stuff down. Let me, you know, come right. up with something. And you, can you talk about that? Oh, it was definitely, most definitely. I mean, at one point they shut us down. They said, hey, go outside. Hey, I went outside, took my little bar stool and got out there at a fold up table and got it in. And they said, nope, go outside. I said, you know what? I got something for that. Teamed up with this company called Mobile Moguls. They do custom design vans and uh, their Sprinters, Mercedes, Ford, etc. And I grabbed with them and I didn't look back. I've been cutting and moving around the city of LA and using different avenues to get around and do what I do. Get to the people, give them their cuts. That's what's up. How long you been, like, how long you been cutting here, period? Like, so, when did you? I'm gonna give you some backstory on that. Okay. So a little backstory on me with the cut thing. Got in trouble, everybody gets in trouble. But however, got in trouble when I used to do security and so forth. Uh, went away for a little bit. When I was away, I actually shadowed a gentleman, a Hispanic gentleman. He was cutting hair in the county jail with a comb and razor. Mm. And I shadowed him for about a week uh, from a distance. And he kind of kind of hinted at me, gave me some pointers. And I went ahead and took on a friend of mine and went ahead and cut his hair. Cut a whole afro into a flat top with a comb and razor. Fell in love with Barbary that day. Uh, from that day on, uh, I continued to use that comb and razor until I, you know, got back out here in the free world. And I probably, I said, you know what? What can I do? I fell down, but I need to get myself back up. Mm -hmm. What can I do to turn myself around? Did some research, found out, hey, barbering, they don't really stress you on your, your mistakes or your mishaps or less our fortunate mm -hmm. miscomings. So I went ahead and went to Barber College at Borners right on 88th and Western. Right in the hood, man. Mm -hmm. Didn't look back, got my license. I was cutting on my kids and everything, got good. I messed up a few people. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, <laughs> you know, uh, since then I haven't looked back, man. Salute to Mr. Borner and the whole Borner family. Um, I've I been doing that ever since then. I, I had a buddy of mine that was cutting my hair up in Hawthorne on uh, 120th and, um, excuse me, 121st and Prairie at Familiar Barbershop, aka Familiar Barbershop. Now it's called Fades LA. Um, he looked out for me, man. He took me and he said, hey, you don't got a license, you're in school, I see your passion, your ambition, you're a go-getter, I'm gonna give you an opportunity. And man, I, I can't stress enough the opportunities, man. They don't come around too often, but when they come, I gotta pick them up and I gotta grab them. So I didn't look back, man, he let me cut. I got good, I got great, I got my license. And I've been doing my, doing my barbering thing. Yeah, ever since, can't look back. Now I got my own suite, my own space. I got a sprinter van going on. I can get to you where you're at, where if you're, whether you're coming to me in the shop or you're out at your home, I can be there for you and the services are limited. You know, I've even up my game. So why did I stop at cutting hair? I didn't stop. I said, you know, why don't I give some people more? Give them experience instead of a haircut. Mm -hmm. Start implementing facials, start implementing different enhancements, start giving the extended customer service, a Chick-fil-A kind of a feel, but with a little twist, you know what I mean? More intimate styling, like what you see here. It's more one-on-one, -on -one, you know? And yeah. I, I, it's more of a lifestyle for me than being a barber. So. I can attest to the, man, that hot towel with the, <laughs> with the, what was it? Um, <laughs> The hot towel with, with the steamer, you know, yeah. The steamer machine. Oh yeah, the steamer. This guy right behind me here. So, so that's my best friend. <laughs> yeah, you hit it in with that guy right there. What know? was the? It, it was a scent that you. It was like a. Ah uh, yes. The, the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah. was relaxing, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, man. Open up the senses. Open up the pores. Yeah, you know feel I mean? feeling like a new man. Right, Every right. man. It's all. It's all about little touches here and there. Just, just applying, applying your passion and what you're doing, your craft. You know what I mean? And it shows in the little extras that I get. A lot of times, like every haircut I do, I don't 
charge you for the hot towel or the eucalyptus oil. I just give it to you because I want you to go away with that experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a consistent thing for me. It's not, hey, I'm trying to make you my client nah, today. They, they better tip, man. <laughs> they better give you a good tip, man. Cause... See, for me, it's, it's just the passion of what I do. I just, I, 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 I thrive on good customer service. I believe in good customer service. You can ask my wife this. Uh, man, I, you ain't giving me good customer service. I'm like, mm, your tip is kind of you know, to the backside, but I'm not doing it for the tip. I'm doing no, it for, for I'm sure. doing it for the, the memory and the experience because you're yeah, going to tell somebody. Exactly. Yeah. Word of mouth. I was just about to say, right. word of mouth is the best promotion. Definitely. You know? Most definitely. Yeah. 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 And I see, you know, on your social media tip, you like, you guys are cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, get, yeah, man. I'm trying to be like the youngster. Content. Man. You know? Yeah. Just try to give people, you know, different content and stuff that they can just vibe off of and they can see what's what's going on and they can experience from the other side of the lens what actually happens in this chair right here. Yeah. You know, I do it every day, you know, get a feel of what I do. So, you know, they might want to come tap in. Yeah, man. And I know you create bonds and, you know, you have conversations and you get to, you know what I mean? Most definitely, man. I've I've got guys' jobs. I got guys two or three different jobs. Mm -hmm. Just a haircut, You you know what I mean? Save marriages. You know, help people through divorces. Uh, uh, first day at uh, uh, driving, first day at school. I mean, You're a therapist, bro. Yeah, man. I can, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you guys some stuff, but you know what? Yeah, that's confidential. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. No, but I'm sure like you're a good role model, bro. I, and I, sal- I salute you, bro. I honestly yes, do. Uh, I respect you. You know, as a hustler that you are, because you, you, you know, you responsible and a uh, provider. You know, all that. And uh, right. I just wanted to shed a light on you, you know. and uh, Definitely, man. Salute to you, man. Hey, man y'all don't sleep <laughs> I'm on I'm trying to be like man. you, bro. <laughs> no, nah, man. Don't sleep I'm on trying to be like man. you. <laughs> hey, man. You know. You yeah. inspire, bro, a lot of people. Yes, sir. Yes, that's what we, we To we, not be complacent. Do. Right. Yeah, right, just, right. just to, like, go out and get it. You know that's what I'm saying? It. To go for the yeah. gusto. Go for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Why not? You know what I'm saying? You sit still, you're going to miss it. You know what I mean? Might as well grab that, ride that opportunity. You don't know where it's going to take you. Because every opportunity has a pit stop and a pit stop and a pit stop to another opportunity. Exactly. You know, Not no limit yourself. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Nipsey. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Is there any um advice that you would give anybody who's trying to, like, you know, start on that path and, you know? So, the best advice I can give anybody is if you truly fall in love with something, if you're a drawer, if you do makeup, you do hair, you know, if, if you if you love cars, if you love construction, whatever it may be, if you fall in love with something, take that. Don't don't sleep on that. Don't, oh, you know what, I'll do that later on. You know, I'm good at games or something like that. I can do uh, a computer web designing. Don't sleep on that. Jump on that. Take that. Take every avenue to enhance and build on that and follow your dreams because dreams do come true. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I went from... Look at this room right here. It's four walls and a ceiling. But my that room I went from had four walls and a ceiling, a toilet, and two bunks. Mm. And I went to this. Anything is possible. Message. Apply yourself to the dream that you have. Seize the moment. Take the opportunity. Every day should be taken for granted. We should move every day like it's your last. But at the same time, every day, take a step forward toward that goal. Mm-hmm. But do it with your passion. Message. Do it, do it the what you love. If you don't like your job, I'm not telling you to quit that job. I'm telling you to find out what you love to do and go do that. You use Put it as out. a motivation right. to get out of there. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Stepping stones to life. That's deep, man. Yeah. Real talk, Thank you, bro. Hey, hey, any shout outs that you'd like to send out? Hey, man, just first and foremost, definitely. Gusto, man. You got to, <laughs> you got to go for it. You know what I'm saying, man? This right, man right here is inspiring, man. Coach my kids, man. He's doing stuff in the community. I salute Goofy, man. You know what I'm saying? He has a cold back as well, man. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? And I think it takes a little something to push us you know, forward to be the best individuals we can be. Exactly. So, for y'all out there that might see this, if you fall off your horse, dust yourself off. Mm-hmm. Pick yourself up, man. It's possible. And my shot, best shout out I can give is one above, man. Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all believe. I believe in the higher power. Amen. And that's all we got to believe in. He'll definitely see you through. Salute.